This is a fun activity that brings together people from all walks of life with one common thread, the thrill of racing, go-karting. You have got to keep your focus and reflexes sharp when you go-kart. And you might as well do the same while watching this video because we are going to show you some of the best go-karts in the world today. So let's get started. Number 10. Polaris Slingshot SLR We are aware that when you saw the Polaris Slingshot on the road, you undoubtedly wondered who would drive such an ugly and odd vehicle for $37,949? The person who has driven one and realizes how much fun it is to drive, particularly in the SLR trim, would be the correct response. The small, topless tricycle is entirely legal for the streets. With only 1,749 pounds of stripped-down weight and 173 horsepower, it is undoubtedly a stripped-down racer, but it also has a few useful features that make it a little more more adaptable than you may first assume. It is also ideal for days when the sun is too high and intense in the sky. If you are not impressed with a Polaris slingshot, perhaps its rival will, but mind you, it does not shield you from the sun. Also, the Polaris slingshot is a more economical go-kart. We will tell you about the competitor we speak of, so continue watching. Number 9. Vanderhall Edison Vanderhall manufactures a variety of really interesting and fashionable three-wheeled vehicles, but we believe their Edison 2 all-electric go-kart is the finest. Even though it weighs just 1,400 pounds and has enough room for two individuals to sit comfortably, it is not very heavy. This is mostly because of its two electric motors, which together produce 180 horsepower and 233 pound-feet of torque. This indicates that the small speed Demon can do an astounding 4.4 second, 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint while having a fantastic 200 mile range per charge for $34,950. This modern all-electric aluminum monocoque roadster is a track terror you can drive on the streets. Its design pays homage to the early days of professional motor racing. Number 8. Caterham 7 360 Sold at $38,600, the Caterham 7 was first created in the middle of the 1950s by British automakers Lotus as a substitute for Mark VI at the base level. Even after Lotus discontinued it, the vehicle continued to grow in fame in both the racing and general automobile industries. At that point, Caterham began creating their versions of the Little Roadster after purchasing the design's rights. The Caterham 7360 is the result of years of engineering, design, and racing. With a 180 horsepower engine and a curb weight of around 1,234 pounds, it also offers an amazing power to weight ratio. This classically styled go-kart is decked out with a ton of carbon fiber, both inside and out, and is packed with contemporary features that make it a lot of fun, whether you're hitting the racetrack or just taking a fast spin around the neighborhood. Number seven, Ariel Adam 4. According to Ariel Adam 4's website, this go-kart is a single-seater technology made usable and affordable. Adjustment for ride height, toe and camber to quickly set the car up for driver or track. Aerial Atom features no doors, no roof, very few body panels, and a cockpit that lacks everything except the necessities. Sounds like a skeleton, but you would be surprised what it can do. The Aerial Atom 4 is still a street legal go-kart despite having all of this technology on board, with the latest selling for $79,750. Even more impressive is the go-kart's peak speed of 162 miles per hour thanks to the Honda-sourced engine that powers the small four-wheeled rocket. Only a five-point racing seat stands between the driver and the road in this two-seater go-kart, so we'd like to see someone bold enough to test its boundaries. Number 6. Campania T-Rex 16 SP The Campania T-Rex is one of the strangest-looking street-legal go-karts on our list and is a tricycle, like its rival the Polaris Slingshot sold at $65,999. But that oddity also comes with some extra protection that is not present elsewhere. While the T-Roof Rex doesn't do much to protect passengers from the sun or the weather, it does conceal a roll cage, a useful safety feature that is far more effective than the roll hoops you see behind the seats of the other vehicles in our comparison. This Campania has more to offer than just that. And so does this channel, so subscribe to receive additional vehicle-related information. To add up, the Campania weighs only 1,157 pounds, a very lightweight cart that perfectly complements its 160 horsepower engine. The company also provides an all-electric model, if that's more your style. Number five. Elemental RP1. At the price of $108,500, the Elemental RP1 may be the street legal go kart for you if you want your vehicles to resemble automobiles rather than spacecraft or Mad Max mobiles. It's not all about appearances, of course. You may choose between the 2 liter EcoBoost or the 2.3 liter option for one of two Ford engines that powers the RP1. For the 2017 model, this equated to 280 to 320 horsepower a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 2.5 seconds, 
at a top speed of 145 to 165 miles per hour. The main point is that the RP1 is a very rapid two-seater street legal go-kart that can go head-to-head -head with the best of them and looks pretty good doing it. Additionally, there's an optional windshield to deter flies if you don't like the notion of putting insects in your mouth. Number four, Dracon Spider. The Dracon Spider is a performance-wise scary weapon with a name that seems like it might be a character from Lord of the Rings. That's because it packs a naturally aspirated 6.2 GM LS3 V8 engine with a class leading 430 horsepower and 424 pound feet of torque into a 2000 pound chassis. That implies that it has a peak speed of 165 miles per hour and can accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds. Yes, for $125,000, it is expensive. But what price are you prepared to pay for one of the most exhilarating driving experiences of your life? For the DIYers out there, this ride also offers an extra benefit. They also offer a rolling chassis version for $25,000 cheaper than the turnkey pricing if you want to make it a project vehicle and install your engine in it. Number three, KTM X-Bow GT. The KTM X-Bow GT may seem to resemble the Polaris Slingshot SLR when you first see it. The two, however, vary in several significant ways. The KTM comes with four wheels as a start and is sold at about $88,500. The X-Bow has 208 horsepower. The beginning only starts there. The X-Bow GT also boasts a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 3.9 seconds, a peak speed of 144 miles per hour, and a wire and lower center of gravity, making it safer and more stable. A first of its kind monocoque carbon fiber chassis and a suspension that was created specifically for racing. In addition, it has integrated ergonomic regal cart seats and underbody protection. For those desiring the Polaris Slingshot SLR, the KTM x GT is not the right choice. It is for those who desire a lot more from their street legal go-kart. Number two, back mono. The Briggs Automotive Company's mono is one of just two single-seater street legal go-karts on our list, but it has one significant advantage not present in any other model, unmatched personalization via their online service. That implies that you may completely customize your mono without worrying about a salesman snooping through your affairs. Additionally, there are a lot of upgrades available, including different paint schemes, a more expensive exhaust system, ceramic brakes, vehicle coverings, and more. Even a custom racing costume may be ordered to match your vehicle. Once you've found the ideal appearance, you can simply order it for $250,000 and have it delivered to your home. Then things start to get exciting since you may enjoy the 332 horsepower engine on the track or in your neighborhood. Number one, Donkervoort D8 GTO RS. Most of Donkervoort's designed go-karts are not intended for usage on public roads. However, they were still able to maintain their original aesthetic and attitude when they chose to create a road-going go-kart, which they named the D8 GTO RS. The D8, which weighs just 1,638 pounds, has an Audi 2.5 liter R5 TFSI engine with 380 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. This makes for a swift drive by any standard. That means it has a scorching zero to 60 mile per hour acceleration time of 2.7 seconds. Donkervoort had to entirely rework the body to maximize downforce and enhance aerodynamics to handle that much power. They did this flawlessly, improving on earlier additions by 20%, all while maintaining their trademark appearance. This go-kart costs about $166,000 before tax. That is quite the price and I'm here thinking about how my take-home pay won't even get me home. In particular for beginners, go-karting is a safer option. Both indoor and outdoor activities are possible. You might concur that your safety is guaranteed indoors, but if you have any doubts about your safety outside, why not buy an armored vehicle instead? In that case, watch our video on the 15 safest armored SUVs for more information. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like it and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on another wonderful video from us.